So I plan on making videos, reading some books from start to finish. And the first book I'm starting with, you know, if you know me by now with what I talk about, is this book. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm always talking about, basically. And I feel like as we enter this apocalypse or proto-apocalypse with uh, the GOP literally ripping away our reality and rights. Um, yeah, and we're uh, headed back. Uh, we're already headed back um, before the 70s, I'm pretty sure. You know, because Roe vs. Wade was stripped. Uh, so, yeah. And soon we'll be headed back to the 1920s and 30s you know and so on possibly further actually like hundreds of years as far as i've heard but those hundreds of years are not what i'm going with right now unfortunately you know it might become relevant but anyways this is the first book i'm reading which takes place in the 1920s to 1930s and into the 1970s um, and then I will be reading this book called Eugenics and Other Evils. And then, I want to get as far into the dearth birth. I want to get as far into the dearth birth as possible. Because there are PDF, or, yeah, there's, uh, files you can look for that have the pages. So... And as much as the dearth birth isn't straight up eugenics, as my, you know, like the colloquial sense of sterilization, or my realization I had that withholding an abortion is still eugenics, as I was talking about in my past videos with the uh, Roe versus Wade history. Um, yeah, um, with the dearth birth, it's basically. Um, scapegoating with the birth rate and the realization that you need to stop people from having abortions and that's basically what that book's fear was about and you know there's a whole like crazy like quotes in that book that when I started to read it online it was very interesting it was legit almost like <laughs> kind of funny it's just like uh francis gotland in the future or something you know imagine if francis gotland to my knowledge he never got a hold of the census uh maybe he did but if he got a hold of like um official like the way we utilize planned parenthood and overpopulation and yada 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 the birth dearth is not necessarily connected to uh overpopulation though it's cited as if it is so i feel like francis galton would have definitely been a radical with it and been totally evil you know i feel like just about anyone with that mindset would be all right yeah this is just an introduction video to the books i plan to read um yeah sorry if you don't care but i've been wanting to make reading videos for a while and if I and I hope this timeline timeline of videos happens because the other one I told you guys I would make about um, gun control uh, research and uh, purple pill and uh, forest from the trees, which was talking about um, other threats in the national uh, playing field besides just America being a threat. You know, because I'm usually focused on American exceptionalism from the negative analysis. And I feel like that's a bias that I feel like I should, you know, cast aside a little bit. I don't want to necessarily forget where I live and my the issues that we face. So I'm just trying to be a little more self-aware, even though I realize how fucking clueless I am. Anyways, yeah. All right. Prepare for those uh, reading videos.